we've been kind of rocking out in the newsroom, paying we homage. Uh, tributes pouring in this morning for a bona fide rock and roll legend, Chuck Berry, one of the architects of rock and roll. Yeah, you were playing Dingling and specifically And Maybelline at me. and Johnny uh, Be Good. Yes, that's right. All the hits. When the news broke overnight that Barry had died at the age of 90, fellow music greats began weighing in. Bruce Springsteen tweeting, Chuck Berry was rock's greatest practitioner, guitarist, and the greatest pure rock and roll writer who ever lived. And then Lenny Kravitz on Instagram writing, Hail, hail, Chuck Berry. None of us would have been here without you. Rock on, brother. And proving just how far his influence reached. Country star Keith Urban tweeting, Thank you for the poetry, the passion, and the potency. ABC's Chris Connolly is here with much more on the man and his signature sound. Good morning, sir. Good hey, morning, Chris. Dan. Good morning, Paula Springsteen. You know, just one of the many musicians who at some point played in a backing band for Chuck Berry, mm. a monumental figure in popular music history, writer and performer of dozens of rock's most essential and enduring songs, each one an American classic. From Johnny B. Good and Roll Over Beethoven. A roll over Beethoven, tell the gasket a new. To Sweet Little Sixteen. All the cats wanna dance with. Oh, sweet little Sixteen. Chuck Berry was rock and roll, its founding father and warrior hero. The creator of its irresistible musical language, filled with poetic, uniquely American images. He was the primary influence and the musical cornerstone for the Beatles and the Rolling Stones. His slick back do and duck walk made him an in-concert mainstay from the 1950s, an African-American triumphing across a racist landscape. Born in St. Louis in 1926, Chuck Berry had trained as a hairdresser before 1955 when his first song oh, conquered radio well about a car Fabulous named Maybelline. Dozens of hits follow, each one a showcase for his guitar riffs. That jukebox beat and those remarkable lyrics. Oh, up in the morning and out to school. The teacher is hitting the golden rule his only number one single in 1972 with an audience sing-along of the double entendre My ding a -ling. But Barry would continue to perform and loom large, inducted in the first ever class to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and lauded at the Kennedy Center Honors in 2000. The Hall of Fame remembering the legend, writing, Rock and Roll as we know it would not exist without him. Actually, you know, that Rock and Roll Hall of Fame building in Cleveland, it would be an Ikea. It would be a Bob's Big Boy. <laughs> <without Chuck Berry. laughs> the originator had never bettered hereafter. <laughs> and, and you said he always had to be paid in cash. You had to pay him in cash. You had to provide the backing band, which is why people yeah. like Bruce Springsteen played for him at some point, and you had to pay him in cash. That's he, how we liked it. And he got started pretty late in life. As compared to some people like Justin Bieber or something like that. Yeah, he's in his <laughs> late 20s, really, before he had the Maybelline as a big hit. And then he was just on a roll and never stopped. You're a gem. Thanks for coming in on Pleasure Saturday morning. Pleasure to be morning. here. Sorry so it's much, a sad occasion. So much great information about a great man. Thank you. Thanks, Chris.